Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and thanks for joining me in this video for my color coordinated jewelry bag sets. These sets come from my Shop Goodwill jewelry unboxings and sometimes from other pieces that I buy here and there. I put them together in color coordinated sets, and you all seem to like it very much. So I'm going to be showing these sets today. Some of them you've seen before, but some of them maybe you haven't. Maybe this is your first time joining me. If it is, I welcome you to my channel. I thank you for coming along and giving me the chance. If you like the channel, please subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Right now we're working on, in our other videos, a 45 pound box of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. So we're having a great time on my other series as well. So I hope you don't miss that, but thank you. Also, if you see anything you like, here is how you can purchase the jewelry. You send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And this is the information I'll need for you from you on the jewelry bags. It's a little bit different than my normal episodes. So uh, just have a look at the screen or screenshot it or write it down. It's simpler actually. So number one, I need the episode number. Number two, I need a brief description of the jewelry. Number three, the number of the bag. The bags will be numbered. And number four will be the price. Okay, so thank you for that. So today you may notice that the bag number is written over, and that's because I need to change the bag numbers in order to put them, you know, coordinated in order for this video. So thank you for that. Oh, and for those that like to know about the rings that I wear, this is my abalone ring that I got in one of my unboxings, and this ring I just got this week. This is a Larimar ring, and it's on sterling silver, and this is a bypass ring. I love this because it's always adjustable, sterling silver, by Bow Jewels. This is my Labradite ring that I got a couple weeks ago. And this is my marcasite ring that I got in a jewelry unboxing. So just thought I'd show you the rings. I know you like to hear about them and see them. This is the Larimar bracelet that you've probably already seen, most of you. This is a Byzantine costume jewelry bracelet that I'm practicing wearing because I may buy one in real gold to see how it looks. This I got this week, too. This is a beadball bracelet. I really love it. It has texture to the beads. I've never seen that before. Usually the bead ball bracelets are more shiny and round like these, which I love. But I like the texture on these beads. It's beautiful. So yes, it's sterling again. And I think it's marked Italy and it's a lovely piece. So maybe in the future these will become available, but for right now I'm enjoying them as sort of a catch and release, okay? So thanks for letting me show that, and thank you for those who ask. So bag number one is called Pretty in Pink. And up first, we have this very beautiful crystal and pearl necklace. It's all hand-knotted, uh, faceted pink glass with a pink silk wire in between, silk thread, I'm sorry. And again, all hand-knotted, and then there's glass pearls every now and then. It's such a beautiful piece. It's 62 inches long, so you can do just about anything with it. It is an over-the-head necklace, so you'd have to decide how you'd want to wear it, but again, you have so many choices. That's what's so wonderful about these. So let me just wrap it around this way just to give you a good look at it. Well, this probably would have been easier. So that's how it looks when you wear it sort of combined or in a torsade, if that's how you like to wear it. Now with this, I'm putting these crystal faceted earrings in the same color pink. I really love these with it. You can see my light needs to come closer again. That looks better. So it has the faceted crystal beads, but there's also some other colors in there, a little bit of peach, a little bit of gray, I just thought that looked fabulous with the necklace, so I'm putting those earrings. They have gold wires and gold tone in the center. And then, I really love this bracelet with it. It's a soft tone 
um, natural stone bracelet with gold tone beads in between. It is on the stretch. It sits at seven inches, but it's on the stretch. But I just love those colors and I like how it brings in the gold tone. I'm also adding another pair of dangle earrings that have sort of an AB coating on these white beads on the top. And then the bottom beads are acrylic with pinks and a little bit of brown that just look great with everything. So I hope you love that. And last but not least, I'm adding this gold tone brooch so that you can put it anywhere on your necklace to wear as a pendant, or you can wear it as a brooch. And I think also it helps to bring in all those gold tones. I'm really loving that set. So you have your bracelet, your pierced earrings on gold wires, your very crystally pierced earrings also on gold wires, and everything has new backs on them, nice clean backs. You have your brooch, that's what it looks like on the back. I think it's a bit of an older piece because of the way that's shaped there. It's a nice shape, and you're absolutely gorgeous. Can never go wrong with this color pink and pearl necklace. So again, that's called Pretty in Pink. I had it at 62, and today I'm gonna take it to 58. It's such a beautiful set, I hope you love it. And that's bag number one, Pretty in Pink. Bag number two is called Soft Green. And, oh, it is a bag too. Okay, I don't even have to change that number. That's wonderful. So soft green. Now I had some comments from um, other viewers, and I think from Anna as well, who knows about gemstones. And she thought these were maybe fluorite. Not sure, they do test as glass. She said fluorite would test as that. But nonetheless, they're beautiful pieces of either glass or fluorite, and many different soft green tones, some that look sort of blue and pink and amber. And it's just a really pretty piece on a silver tone chain with a nice extender. And that necklace measures 18 inches, plus the extender that I give with you, with it, yep, yeah, here it is. Plus a silver tone extender for another three inches, so 18 plus three. And then to go with this beautiful necklace, I have these gorgeous earrings. They have sterling silver posts. They have these green, oh, I always have a hard time saying this word, briolet stones on the end. They're just lovely. And these other sort of opaque green stones on in between. But isn't that a nice design? So again, they have sterling silver posts, and I love it with that necklace. Next are these earrings. They are so beautiful, a beautiful color green to go with everything else, and lots of beautiful halo rhinestones around the outside. Nice new posts, and the condition is terrific. Here, I'll just take one off and show you. Great condition they're in. So that's two pairs of earrings. And last but not least, I have this lovely Napier bracelet. There's your signature. It's silver tone, and I love this little beaded texture. I think that looks terrific with that set too. So that is set number two, called Soft Green for 29, and I'm gonna leave it right at that price because I think that's a great price. So you have your Napier bracelet at seven inches, your pierced halo earrings, glass, your 925 post beautiful chandelier earrings, your extender, and your necklace. I hope you love that. That's bag number two for 29. Bag number three is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna have to change the number a little bit, which is fine. So I'll change that to 
bag three. Bag three is called Brushed Beauty. Bag number three, Brushed Beauty. I hope that number is going to be okay. It's called Brushed Beauty because all of the gold is in a brushed gold tone. Now up first we have this Madewell necklace. And if you know anything about Madewell, they really are made well. The finish on this is perfect. I don't think it's ever been worn. There's your signature. And it has this circle and square design, just lovely, that sits right above that chain. And it has lots of places to clasp, so you can have it at different lengths. So there is your brushed gold tone, lovely made well necklace. Let's fix that little piece there. And then when you fix the one, there it goes. Okay. Brushed gold tone is just so pretty. And of course, I had to put brushed gold tone with it. And probably before I go any further, I should let you know that there's an extender with this necklace too. I bought these brand new extenders. This one's gold tone. And this one is four inches. So you have the necklace at 16, the extender at four. So I hope that helps for people that may not have been able to wear this that can now wear it with the extender. And then to go with this, I have these lovely brushed gold tone and Klein earrings. They're so pretty. And they are signed on the back. And they're sort of kind of a, a half hoop, but they have that beautiful swirl to them. So I love that with that necklace. And then again, another brushed gold tone pair of earrings. And these are hoops. And they're in that lovely gold tone. It was a little bit hard to find all brushed gold tone pieces, but I'm really glad I found these for this set. So this is bag number two called Brushed, um, bag number three called Brushed Beauty. Let me make a nice neat three so it helps. There we go. Bag three, Brushed Beauty. I had it at 32 and I'm going to take that price down to 29. Okay, so bag three is 29, Brush Beauty. So in go your Ann Klein earrings, your hoop earrings, and that is how they close, your extender, and your Madewell necklace. I hope these sets are really helpful to you that when you get a piece that you like, you don't have to take the necklace around to different stores and shop for pieces that match because all that work has already been done for you. So I hope you like that. And I think they also make lovely Christmas gifts if you wanted to give them away as Christmas gifts. If you can give them away, right? If you love it yourself, you might have a hard time, but you might know what your friends or your family like. So that might be helpful for Christmas gifts. Bag number four is called Chevron Rhinestone. And that's because we have this beautiful necklace in a chevron shape that's all prong set rhinestones. It's in great condition. The rhinestones go all the way up the chain. And then in the back, there's a lobster clasp with an extender. It's a very sparkly, beautiful holiday piece and also to be worn anytime. Okay, Buster, you gotta help me out here. Okay, so that's our beautiful chevron rhinestone. And to go with that, it oh, I'm sorry, it's 16 inches and I'm adding a two inch extender. So I hope that helps. Now to go with these, of course we have to have beautiful rhinestone earrings. This is like a rhinestone bar earring. It does have the movement at the top so that's nice that it swings. They are pierced, have new backs on them, and they look terrific with that. Then I have this Kendra Scott bracelet that has beautiful rhinestones all along the tips. And I looked this up and it's called Crown Mary Caroline. So that's quite a nice bracelet that's signed Kendra Scott. I hope you love that one and I thought it looked terrific with the set. So bag four is your Kendra Scott bracelet. 
your rhinestone pierced earrings, chevron necklace, and 16 inches plus a two inch extender. So again, that's bag four. I had it at 37 and I'm gonna take that down for fun to $32. So bag four is now 32 called Chevron Rhinestone. Okay. Bag three, no, bag five. <laughs> oh my gosh, the other week I had two bag number sevens. It was the first time I think I ever messed up the numbers. And the funniest part is I went on and on about how I almost got it wrong, but I did get it wrong. So thank you all for being so sweet about that. Bag number five is called Yachting. This is a fancy set. I do like it. Again, I take all the jewelry that I get from different unboxings and I see what goes together. So this is a lovely glass um, necklace with black and white colors. It's got sort of tassel looks on the bottom and it's in gold tone. It also has a very fancy ribbon that's going up through the chain and it's in excellent condition. I really wouldn't sell a ribbon necklace unless it was like brand new, never worn. It's on a lobster clasp with a nice extender. So that's our necklace. I think it looks really cute. And I love how they have the tassels. I've got to kind of lay it down the right way. It has these tassels, and then on the last two it doesn't. So it just kind of gives it a good shape. So to go with this necklace, we have matching earrings that came with it. Aren't they cute? They also have the little tassels. They're pierced and they're in good condition. So I love those, and this is black and white, by the way. I wanted to make sure that I said that because sometimes the colors are hard to see on screen. And this is a pair of lovely flower earrings, gold tone in the center, and some little pearls. And I was surprised at how much I like those with the set. They just really soften things up, and I love those. And then I have this great sort of woven gold tone cuff bracelet super nice condition. I think that just looks so classy with this set. So bag number five is called Yachting. And, oh, I don't have the measurements on this one. Bracelet, I would say, sits around six and a half. Would that be how you go about that? Then you can adjust it a little if you really wanted to. So probably a six and a half on that. Got to get it back in the bag. Then you have your pierced earrings, the flowers, the earrings that match the bracelet, and your gorgeous necklace that measures 20 inches fully extended. So I hope you love that classy set. Black and white and gold just goes with anything. That's bag number five for 36. And for fun today, we're going to take it down to 32. Okay, bag number five, 32. Let's see, what should I choose for bag number six? Let's do, oh yes, let's do this one. This is beautiful. And again, these might make good gifts if someone wants to give vintage jewelry a try. Most of the pieces are vintage. I do like to use the vintage pieces. So this is bag number six. So I gotta change our number to a six. And this bag is called Risha Lu, We Love You. And that's a six, okay? So for this necklace, we have a double strand Glass pearl, nice quality necklace. It is on a lobster clasp. And they're all hand tied and in beautiful condition. And they're glass, so that makes them really good. And they hang well and they look real. So there's your double strand glass pearl necklace. It's in a more of a champagne color, a darker color pearl. It's not a white, white pearl. 
And along with that, I have this lovely earring. I love to be able to use single earrings for a purpose. So I think I put it this way. Yes. And look at that. Doesn't that look so pretty? So it's got a big pearl in the center and it has like a peachy orange color swirl and some gold tone. In order to match that, I have this perfect bracelet. Looks like it was made together, but they weren't. The bracelet, I think, is marked something. Avon. Yes, this is an Avon bracelet. It looks so gorgeous with the set. It measures an eight and a half on the bracelet. And by the way, the necklace measures 15 inches. So I'm adding this extender. This is before I bought the metal extenders. So if you'd rather have a metal, metal extender, just let me know. But this is before I bought those. These are really easy to use too. If you don't like to do clasps, this is the easiest way to go. And to go along with this set, I have these beautiful peachy orange color earrings. They're glass. This is the back. They're in wonderful shape on gold tone wires. Love those colors. And then here's our Risha Lu earrings. Risha Lu designer clip-on earrings. They're signed right on the back. And I just love those with the set. If you didn't want to wear the danglies, you could wear the pearl. If you didn't want to wear this or these, you could just have all pearls. So I feel like this set can be worn many, many different ways. So again, you have your Avon sign bracelet. Look at the condition, it's beautiful. Richelieu earrings, extender, beautiful glass earrings. This great clip-on earring that fits really nicely on there as a pendant or not. And then your double strand glass pearl necklace. And again, this is bag six called Richelieu, we love you. And I'm gonna take this price from 43 to 40. Okay, so again, bag six, Risha Lou, we love you, and for $40. Okay. Now, what am I gonna pick for bag seven? Oh yeah, how about this one? So this one is called, I gotta change my number. Bag number seven, and bag seven called Princess Pearls. And it sure does look like a princess set of pearls for sure. So here's our necklace. We have four strands of lovely smaller pearls. They are, are they glass or acrylic? They might be acrylic, they're nice and lightweight. But have a look at this pendant. Isn't that gorgeous? It's full of rhinestones, very sparkly. They look like good quality. And they go all the way around this lovely big teardrop pearl. The necklace finishes off at the top with a hook clasp. It's a gold tone and in excellent condition. So you can clip it here or you can clip it anywhere along here. So the necklace measures from 16 inches to 19 inches, depending on where you clip it. So that's the necklace. There we go. It's just very beautiful, very luxurious looking. And to go with this, I found these lovely pearl earrings with the same kind of a drop design as the pendant. And they are on gold tone with three pearls in the center. And they are just lovely. I think these are glass, so you have those. And then I'm adding these very fancy, very sparkly tourmaline stone earrings. They have another stone at the top, and they just have this lovely swirl design to them. They're on gold tone, the backs are open, and they're just beautiful. So you can really fancy it up with the stones. And for a bracelet, I'm adding this gold tone bracelet. It is a cuff bracelet, and it has a designer sign on it too. I don't know who that is. It's like an L with an S in it, 
and it looks like how I've drawn it on this paper. So I'm not sure who that is, but it's a nice bracelet. The bracelet measures six and three quarters. I did tell you what the necklace measures. So in go your beautiful pearl earrings, your tourmaline, gorgeous sparkle, fancy, fancy, and your princess pearls necklace. So I hope you love that. Bag number seven. And bag number seven is 49. And I'm gonna leave it at 49 because I think that's a really good price. But let me make that bigger so you can see it. So bag seven, princess pearls for 49. Okay, I'm digging, digging. Let's see what bag eight could be. Oh, I love this set too. I think it's very different. I think it's gonna take a very uh, different person or someone that just likes the clash of the different um, metals and things that I have in this set. So this is set number eight. I'm changing the number and it's called Brassy Classy. Brassy and Classy. That's what it's called. Now this necklace comes with a gorgeous, genuine AB crystal necklace from back in the day. This is the real crystal vintage necklace. It's not a remake, it's not a redo, it's the real thing. It's an over the head crystal necklace and it measures 28 inches. It's quite pretty. It's all faceted beads. Oh yeah, that's right. And right here, where they've fastened the necklace together, it's very secure, but you can see the little tie right there. So that would be no problem if you wear that in the back. But I had another idea. Now, of course, you can't double it like this, but I wanna give you an idea of what it's gonna look like with the pendant idea that I have by being able to hang it this way. So bear with me just a minute. Well, I fiddle faddle and get this just right. So the idea I had to either put on this end to cover that little tie or wear the tie in the back and put this on the front, doesn't matter, is this lovely brassy um, bro, no, sorry, clip-on earring. Um, and I think there was only one of these, but look at the prong set crystal, the beautiful feather, it's like a brassy gold tone, very hard to describe. But when I put it on this necklace, I just fell in love. I thought it was so gorgeous. It's so sparkly and delicate, and then you have the metal. In order to go with that, I have two pairs of earrings that I put together. And the first pair is a super high quality AB crystal screw back earring and a lovely rhodium plated. And then I took this this um, pierced earring that has sort of a red copper, a gold, and another red copper, and I just put the hook right through the earring. So you could wear the earrings separately, or you could wear them just like I put them together here, and it kind of ties in the whole brooch and everything. I'm sorry, the pendant. So I love that. And here's the earrings by themselves, so you can get a look at how they look this way. They're super clean, absolutely stunning. And here's your other pierced earring. So again, you can wear them separate or put together like I showed you. And it's pretty easy to get this into here. You just slip that right through those beads and it goes nicely. And then to go with this set, the perfect bracelet, it has a darker metal, silver tone, and a gold tone. And I love it with that. It just looks so brassy and classy. So that's bag number eight, brassy and classy. I had it at 52. And I'm going to take that down to 48, OK? And I think that's great because you're getting these vintage crystal necklace and those earrings. And those alone are fabulous. And I think well worth that. So that's bag eight with your Sherry Creation earrings, two pairs, one screw back and one pierced. And then you have your gorgeous bracelet 
that, by the way, is a stretch, and it's an excellent stretch, so no issues there. And this beautiful, very easy to clip on, clip on as a pendant. And you can wear this, this part in the back so no one sees it, and wear your pendant on the front. Or you can turn it this way and wear your pendant right over that piece, okay? So that's your gorgeous crystal brassy and classy set of jewelry, number eight for $48. So I know you'll love that one. That set is going to take just the right person to absolutely flip out over. Bag number nine is called Silver O's. Bag number nine. I've had some people ask me for some sterling silver sets lately, so I thought I would get out these sets that have been shown in previous episodes and just get them out and show you them to you again. So here is a silver tone necklace Again, in really excellent condition. Has these textured rings on it. And I love how that's like a disco ball. And then much less textured. And then it comes down to these three chains. So you've got the one chain here and then three. And then it comes into oval shapes. This chain hangs down here, this one here. And then your last one right there. Isn't that beautiful? So that is called, like someone told me in the comments, a waterfall necklace. So thank you so much for your help in the comments, for helping me to know what some of these pieces are called. I am still a little new to jewelry and this whole experience, and it's been really fun. So to go with this necklace, I have this Goldette bracelet I thought was so cool. It's signed Goldette right on the back. It has this type of texture to it. It's got like two chains running down the outside and a texture in the middle. It's a beautiful piece and it measures seven inches. Love that texture with that silver tone. And then I have these really cool pierced earrings. They have, I'm, I'm not going to say that's glitter because it doesn't fall off. It's some kind of a glitter paint or something. And then they are, you know, shiny on the inside. Really cute shiny on the back. I just thought those were beautiful. And they close that way, so I love those with that set. A little extra sparkle. And then I have these super cool, they're not rhinestones, but they look like it. They're a textured earring, and I love it with that set. They just add everything together. They complement the whole set. So this is bag number nine. You have two pairs of earrings, these little studs with new backs on them. These super cool pierced earrings that are like an oval hoop. A really nice gold at signed vintage bracelet, by the way, with the box clasp. And this very beautiful long layered silver tone necklace. So I hope you love that one. That's bag number nine called Silver O's for 35. And again, the necklace is 28, 32, and 40 inches as it cascades down. So there's bag number nine, Silver O's for 35. <clears throat> okay, what's a good bag number 10? Oh, I have one that's already marked number 10. Let's go with that one. Number 10, this one is called Crystal Disco. Now, these bags of jewelry are little leftovers from many, many episodes. So I thought I would come on today. Since I don't have time to make all new bags, why not show the little bit leftovers from each episode and have something to show you? And lots of times, many of you don't see all the pieces, so it's a new thing for you. This necklace is just stunning. I don't know how to describe. It's nice, very cold glass beads. They're faceted. They're just very, very beautiful quality. They are clear, smoky, and then they are opaque, like, like a mirror. And then the clear and the smoky and a larger bead, and then an even larger mirror type. 
Let me put it on the neck so I can show you what I mean about how it graduates towards the back. Isn't that cool? It's just got a lot of life in it. Beautiful, vintage, yet looking a little bit new. Lobster clasp. It's on a little bit of a darker metal. And it measures... It's not written on the paper, so let's measure it now. It measures... 18 to 20 inches. So there's your graduated, very crystal, heavy crystal uh, necklace. And to match with those, I really love these very minimal little crystal earrings. They're pierced on a silver wire. Apologize for my paper, but it helps to keep them together. And they are the same mirror type bead as this. They may even have come with the necklace. So I love those. They look so cute with that. And then if you wanted longer earrings or something more of a pizzazz, I have these gunmetal earrings with what I call disco balls on the end. They're pierced. They are on, again, a gunmetal, which I thought matched marvelously. So you have that other pair of earrings. And then this bracelet is just perfect. It has a disco ball that goes with the earrings. And if you didn't want to wear those earrings, it still matches because it has the faceted glass beads. It is a silver tone, self-adjustable, really great condition. Uh, the bracelet can measure anywhere from, you know, past eight inches all the way up to a smaller size. You just adjust it right here. So it's so adjustable and just a really pretty piece. So that's bag 10. Excellent bracelet. Lovely earrings. More of a pizzazz earrings. And then the necklace I can't say enough about. Just how, you hear the glass? Super beautiful. And that's your necklace. And that's number 10 called Crystal Disco, and I had it at 48, and I'm gonna take that price down to 42. So there you go, bag number 10, Crystal Disco is now 42. Let's see, that was bag 10, right? Okay. And bag number 11 is called Roman Avon. I wasn't feeling terribly creative when I made the the bag uh, the bag title, but but the set is very creative, so I hope you love that. So the necklace is on a absolutely gorgeous Avon chain. There's your mark, and it's this beautiful, rich 24 karat color gold on this. Oh, I don't know. It's a square shape, maybe Byzantine type chain. Not sure if that would classify as Byzantine. It's a lovely chain. It measures a nice long length at 24 inches. In itself, it's gorgeous. I have this Roman pendant clipped onto it. You can just unsnap that and take it right off. It's got a faux pearl. It's signed Roman and some beautiful rhinestones. And I thought it looked so beautiful with that. So again, let me twist this around so we can see all things together. So there's your lovely Avon chain with the Roman pendant. And to match with that, I have these very apropos seasonal snowman earrings. And I think these might be Avon too, I'm not sure. But they are nice quality glass pearls. They are pierced on a little ball bead at the top, and they're just so cute. I love the, the sheen on the pearls, or the, what do you call it? The, um, oh, I can't think right now, but. Then I have this lovely vintage bracelet. This is also marked. I'll have to look at the mark. Let's see here. I'll try to show it to you. Oh, it says patent pending, yeah, so that's a nice oldie. I also have a new loop that I paid quite a lot for. It's much clearer in what I can see through it, but the, the glass part is kind of tiny. 
So there's your rice pearl and gold bead bracelet. And it's a nice oldie, but it's in beautiful condition. And then I'm putting these sparkly rhinestone earrings. They are pierced. They look like those eye or eyelash earrings. I just like the sparkle. They sort of picked up the same design as around the pendant. And I like how it all went together. So that's bag 11 called Roman Avon. And you've got your snowman earrings, your bracelet that measures seven and a quarter to seven and a half. Then you have these lovely pierced earrings. And I gave you the length of the chain already. But look at that color and condition. It's just really, really nice. I hope you like that. And the fact that they're in really good condition all the time, because I don't want to put anything in these bags that isn't. Again, I really think they'd make great gifts. So if you know someone that likes pearls and gold or Avon, this is bag 11 for 39 Okay, bag 12. I think I have one that has a 12 on it. Yes, I do. Perfect. Okay. Bag 12 is called Twisted Pearls. Twisted Pearls for bag 12. And this is a very beautiful torsade necklace with white and black, or maybe it's meant to look like peacock pearls. It's actually white, a light silver tone, and a darker silver faux bead, faux pearl bead in a torsade on this beautiful vintage clasp and they're graduated. They get larger towards the front. So just a beautiful piece. Twisted pearls. And to go with that, I have these lovely faux pearl earrings that are a little bit of a ballet style. They have faceted black beads and glass there, and they're just lovely. I love them with that. Then I'm adding another pair of earrings with some rhinestones and maybe some onyx in the center. And these, I think, are those earrings that you can wear just the posts, or then you can add the rhinestones. You just slip them off the back. So this is a two for one. I hope you love that. And the bracelet is a black and clear faceted crystal bracelet. I love this bead in the middle. And I just thought it looked great. A really nice match. So I hope you love that set. Bag number 12 is called Twisted Pearls for 29. And I'm gonna leave it at that price because I think that's really good. So you have your pierced earrings that dangle. You have your stud type earrings that can be worn two different ways. Then you have your lovely crystal bracelet on an awesome stretch and your torsade necklace that measures 16 inches. So I hope you love that set. Bag 12, Twisted Pearls for 29. Bag number 13 is called Tassel Time. And this is just a lovely, lovely necklace. This is sort of a boho necklace but with a really sparkly twist to it. It's gold tone. It has these rhinestones in the center that are black faceted glass. It's on a very long gold tone chain, lobster clasp, great condition as well. And all of the tassels hang from this lovely half moon piece. They're AB crystals. They have purple sheens. And see the faceted glass pieces along here? It just is so pretty all together. And then it has these darker chains on the bottom that just have a beautiful look. It almost looks like a peacock feather, right? It's a lovely, lovely necklace. It's a showstopper for sure, or a statement piece, if you want to call it that. So there's your necklace. Um, I should measure it for you. And it's a nice long necklace measuring 34 inches. So that's that piece. And then to go with that, 
I have these beautiful art glass earrings on silver tone wires. Look at the swirl. They also have like a copper in them and a white swirl in the black glass. And also a bead on the top. I love this with this necklace. Put them up there so you can see what it looks like together. Then I have these gold tone, like a beautiful sunburst pair of earrings. I also love that with that. It picks up on the pendant, in my opinion. Great shape they're in. And then I have this, like a faux um, pearl, or more like a faux hematite necklace. And this is also by Roman. So that's a great piece. It measures six and a half, but again, it's on the stretch. So you've got your bracelet, your art glass earrings, your gold tone sunburst, and hopefully it all ties in together for a nice set of jewelry that you don't have to go out and match all the pieces because they're all matched up for you. And then there goes your necklace. I wish I knew the maker on the necklace. It's very beautiful. So that's bag 13, tassel time for 25. Bag number 14 is called Betty Rubble. Okay, so Betty Rubble. Maybe I can put that there, we'll see. So this is called Betty Rubble because it reminds me of what Betty Rubble wore in the Flintstones. So I hope you love this piece. I love the shape of the beads. They are acrylic, but they're also stationed in position so they don't slide around. It's graduated, it gets nice and big towards the front. It's just an adorable piece. And you can wear white with just about any color. A little dust on there, okay. Um, it measures 24 inches and it's just so cute. So there's our Betty Rubble necklace. And to go with that, I really love these um, very vintage, probably, it's an older acrylic because they're very dense or they might be glass. Yeah, I think, yes, they do sound like glass. So we have these glass clip-on earrings, and don't let that alarm you, that's just the glue that's yellowed over time. But they're very strong, they're not going anywhere, and they're quite beautiful. So there's your, let's see, they go this way. Your clip-on earrings, I love it with that. And then I'm also adding these silver tone pierced earrings, in awesome condition as well, because I just think the silver and the white look great together. And also, look how the bracelet ties them together. So I love that. This is a stretch bracelet, easily rolls on as well. This sits at six and a half, but of course is a stretch. So this is our Betty Rubble set. Beautiful silver tone and white bracelet in the same round shape. These gorgeous, very vintage glass earrings. These awesome textured silver tone button earrings and our Betty Rubble necklace. <laughs> it's just so cute. I mean, when are we gonna see a piece like that again? I just don't know. And it won't be made like that again, I don't think. And by the way, this is on the vintage uh, spring ring class. So that's Betty Rubble, bag number 14 for 34. And let's have some fun and take this one down today to 30, okay? So I'll circle 30, and I'll point at it so it's not confusing. Bag number 14 for $30 is called Betty Rubble. So I hope you love that one. And bag number 15 is called Joan Rivers. It's a beautiful Joan Rivers necklace that we'll start with. And it's this piece. Isn't that gorgeous? It has pink rhinestones in the middle, a larger rhinestone here, another here, and another here. It's a lovely soft green with pink enamel. And there's your Joan Rivers signature on the back. It's in great shape. I love the Rolo chain that it's on. Silver tone as well. Lobster clasp. And with Rolo chains, you can kind of clip them anywhere. But here's your extender part, and then here's your chain. So really any length because this is a long necklace at 34 inches. So, 
There's your Joan Rivers. Incredibly collectible. They're just so fun to see how people enjoy and love these Joan Rivers pieces just so much, even to today. Or maybe especially today because they're so well made. So there's your necklace. And I just love these earrings with it. They're pierced. I think these are called French lock. That's how that style is. But look at the back. Aren't they cool? I think these are nice earrings. I'm going to check because I think I see a mark on them. Maybe. I can't really tell. But I love the design. They're beautiful. They look like a flower. So that must be why I like them with that. And then I have a pair of green glass earrings that are enamel with a little bit of an AB coating on them just to give them a shimmer and I like that especially if you wear two pairs of earrings at once that would look super nice together and then I have this little flower ring is this a mood ring I don't know but it does have some little crystals inside that look like a sparkly green and just looks pretty it's a silver tone ring in excellent condition, and it's adjustable, which is always fun. This sits at a six and a half, but again, it's adjustable. So there's your flowery Joan Rivers set. And I'm going to price this one up a little bit because her sets, her pieces are quite expensive and collectible. So in goes your ring, your lovely pierced green earrings, flower textured silver tone, and a very long and lovely Joan Rivers necklace in excellent condition. And this set number 15 called Joan Rivers, I have at 59. So that's 59. There you go. Okay, so I hope you love that Joan Rivers and the other pieces and the fact that they all match. And maybe you know someone that loves Joan Rivers jewelry. And for bag number 16, it's called J. Crew. And for this necklace, we have this absolutely stunning, drop dead gorgeous J. Crew necklace. It has brushed gold tone with black beads, crystal, orange and blue, and like a maroon color. What a great combination. J. Crew jewelry is so beautiful. Here's your Rolo chain. And look at the gold tone on it. It's in great shape. And there's your signature and your clasp. So that's your J. Crew necklace. Really beautiful. Love that condition. Let me show you the back, too. Really nice, right? So there's that piece. Um, I just want to make sure nothing's missing. Oh, yeah, someone did say on the last video that that orange piece is missing. Oh, wow. That's a bummer. Um, I'm still going to offer it because, I mean, I do jewelry all the time and I didn't even notice it. I thank you for whoever said that, that did notice it. Um, whoever gets it, I will look around for a piece that color and pop it on there if I find it. Um, if not, I'm sure that something can be done there or maybe nothing at all. So I'm gonna still uh, offer it. There's no sense stopping now. I have these lovely textured gold tone earrings and a big teardrop shape. I thought they looked great with the J. Crew. And then these lovely enamel in the same maroon color and the same almost diamond shape and they're little pierced earrings in super good condition they almost look like they're signed on the back but i can't really make it out but i like that color it goes very very well with the j crew and then i have these three bangles again in beautiful texture gold tone and love them with this necklace so let me know what you think um, I think it's not very noticeable, but that has to be up to you. You've got to be happy with the set. And if someone likes it, they'll let me know. And if they don't, then that's okay, too. I'll try to look around and fix it. So we have bag number 16. The J. Crew necklace is 20 inches long. 
and I had it at 54, but since that one piece is missing, I'm going to take it down to um, just 30. I think that'd be really nice to have a J. Crew necklace at $30 and all the other pieces. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Bag 16 for $30. Your pierced earrings, your textured dangle earrings. These bracelets are size 8 in great shape. And this gorgeous J. Crew in stunning condition, except for the one bead. And I will look for that color. So I hope you love that bag. This is why I'd rather the tape stuck them on the front. Bag 16, J. Crew, all the way down to $30. And bag number 18 is called Filigree Fun. For starters, we have a very long necklace, gold tone, silver tone, I believe. Let's see, and some rose gold tone. So I think it has multi-metals and it has these lovely filigree type beads. Let's see, let me get it straight. So it's two strands and it comes down like this and the first strand is shorter than the second. But I want to give you a look at the textures, the two different textures in that bead, the lovely filigree work. I just think it's very pretty and a little above average for sure. It has a gold tone lobster clasp with an extender. The two chains come down this way and you have rose tone color beads, uh, rose gold, I'm sorry, and some gold tone and some silver. So I think that's a very beautiful soft feminine look while you're also having the different color metals. That's a long piece from 32 to 38 inches. And to go with that, I found these perfect earrings. They're clip-ons and they are also multi-metal and a leaf design. And you can see the rose gold, silver gold tone and the, the yellow gold tone and just a cute little clip-on. So let's see, they clip this way. So you get the look of a little silver tone ball and then the earrings. Love those. Let's see, I'll try to put them over here. Great shape again. Then, of course, another pair of earrings. I like to give you some clip-ons and some pierced. And this is a beautiful pair of Avon earrings. They are in open work again to sort of mimic the, um, the filigree work. They have a great rhinestone in the middle, pierced. I think they still have the Avon backs on them. And they're signed in there somewhere. But I just love those with it. I hope you do too. And for a bracelet, multi-metal with rhinestones in the middle. Oh, wait a minute. Does this neck bracelet fool me? It does fool me. It looks like rhinestones, but it's gold tone and silver tone. But they look sparkly the way they have it set in there. And it's a cuff bracelet, great condition. The cuff measures seven inches. So bag number 18, you have a seven inch cuff bracelet. Look at that, isn't that pretty? You have your clip-on earrings, multi-metal, great shape. You have your pierced earrings from Avon with rhinestones. And your very long filigree two-tier necklace in all those shades and again the excellent texture of the necklace. So the necklace I like to keep in this little bag just because it's so delicate and I just want to make sure it doesn't get tangled with anything else. So this is bag 18 called Filigree Fun and why don't we take the price down to add some more fun today and we'll make this bag $30 even. Okay? So bag 18, filigree fun, $30. I hope you love that, or maybe you know someone that would love that. I thought I'd take just a minute to remind you how to purchase any of the jewelry that you see. If you like something, all you have to do is send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please send me this four bits of information. I don't need any screenshots. If you need the screenshots for yourself, then just put a little 
um, in parentheses, screenshots are for yourself, okay? I just need the episode number, brief description of the jewelry, the bag number, and the price given. And you can get that by pausing your video at any time to see what the um, bag number is, if you need a time to write it down or anything like that. So I hope that helps and thank you for that. And also, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you're seeing, ding, ding, please subscribe and hit the like button and hit the bell so you'll be notified of when my videos show. Thanks so much. And bag number 19 is called Poca Poca. And here's why. We have a lovely vintage necklace that is 66 inches long. It's probably a flapper type style, but it does have a newer lobster clasp. So perhaps it was made in a flapper style or maybe the clasp was replaced because it does have that older clamp um, jewelry making style there. But let me just get on with the necklace. It has very dense acrylic beads, black and white, and in between is a glass seed bead. And it's just a beautiful long piece. Again, with these long necklaces, you can just do a lot with them. You can wear them very long, or as you all know, you can wear them in two tiers, super long, or three or four. Because this has a clasp, you have the choice of wearing it all kinds of different ways. So let me just set it there so you can get an idea. So black and white beads with black seed beads in between. And then to go with it, I love these glass earrings. They have white glass on the top, the black piece in the middle, and this sort of cylinder glass bead on the bottom. Gold tone, pierced, and just beautiful. Love those. And to go with that, I have a polka dot bracelet. I thought it was fun. It doesn't overdo the polka dots. It just sort of gives an accent to the whole set. And that's that for that set. So again, we have glass earrings. The bracelet measures seven and three quarters. And the necklace is 66 inches long. So I hope you love that black and white. And even if you choose to not wear the bracelet, You've got a black and white necklace for all kinds of occasions, or you can mix and match these pieces with anything else. But in right out, right out of the bag, at least you have something that matches. So bag number 19 called Polka Polka, $25. And for bag number 20, it's called Multi Metal Jam, J-A-M, like a metal jam, you know? And up first, we have a gold tone and silver tone necklace with a nice statement pendant. It's gold tone in the middle, and these others are silver tone. So on the silver tone bar, there's the back, and a nice long snake chain, silver tone, and terrific condition. And I love this clasp. It's a very different kind of clasp. You just turn it, pull it out. It's magnetic. Put it in and turn it. So if you have issues with clasps, you're all set with this one. So there's your necklace. It measures 30 inches long. Double it up here so you can get a good look at it. Or I'll just lay it there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And with this set, I love these hammered. Nice heavy weight to these earrings. They're pierced on the wire. And they have the two circles and they still dangle from this cute little bar. So I thought those look great with that. It sort of offsets the square and the circle. And these are, these are not hard squares, so I think it really works. And then I have this multi-metal gold and silver tone clamper in really awesome condition. It's silver tone here and gold tone here, silver, gold. I hope you can see that on the camera. So I like that set. I hope you do too. Set number 20 called Multi Metal Jam. In goes your clamper bracelet, six and a half inches on the size, your beautiful pierced silver tone earrings, 
and the really long with a wild cool clasp your multi-metal necklace I'm wondering yeah you could probably use the chain as well if you wanted to take it off of there but I like it on there so bag 20 is called multi-metal jam for 28 okay and the necklace is 30 inches so I hope you love that or I hope you know someone that loves that gold and silver tone and bag number 21 is called stone cold and with this set we have a lovely genuine stone necklace it tests in the stone range not sure what kind of stone it is but it does have really beautiful gray tones i'm fixing my light here gray tones purple tones in there um, it's very pretty and some of the beads get much more swirly it has these glass seed beads nice and clear all the way down the chain lobster clasp and an extender so just a pretty way to wear that stone i think and then we have these earrings that actually go with the set they are also the same type of stone, double hang dangle earrings, and just love those with that. So if you need something in the gray, pink, even with the black and white, you could wear this. There's your necklace and earrings. And then I also have this stone bracelet, same colors, same type of stone. This is on a stretch with a silver tone accent bead. The bracelet sits at six and a half, but of course is a stretch. So that's bag 21. There's not many other things you can match with all the same stones. So there goes your bracelet, your beautiful stone earrings, and your lovely stone necklace. And this can be from 17 to 20 inches long. Okay. And the clear beads in between the stones too, which is nice because that helps the stones to not wear away. So I hope you love Stone Cold, or you know someone that does. And that's bag 21 for 35. And for some more fun today, I will take this down to $30 even. So bag 21 is called Stone Cold for $30. I hope you love it. I would love to know what your favorite is in the comments. And it helps me to know what kind of sets to build in the future when you let me know what you like as well. Like that one lady was telling me that she loves silver and gold tone, but that her teenage daughter likes silver tone. So that was a help to me, because then I knew to get some more silver tone sets ready. So bag 21, I've got to change the number, I mean 22, sorry. Bag 22 is a very special set, hard for me to let go, but I'm going to, and it's called Coro Blue. And this is a Coro necklace. I don't see many of these around. Every stone is there. It's got a beautiful patina. I'm guessing it's probably sterling silver plated. Um, in the shape, I guess, of maybe a heart or a filigree or a, it's very kind of art deco. The chain is in this bar type chain. It's pretty cool. And it's got the older spring ring clasp. So it's a very nice necklace for sure. It's just so beautiful with all the blue stones and the clear crystals. Now it could use a little cleaning, but I don't want to do that. I would like for the buyer to determine if they want it shinier or not, because a lot of people like that. Um, patina. Now earrings that match I thought were a pretty good match are these blue um, crystal earrings that are on pewter. So the color of the pewter really matches the patina of the coral necklace. So I hope you love those with it. I thought they were very pretty and not much else to match with that. You've got to get the same color metal, the same stones, but I'm glad I found the earrings. And because the necklace is 14 inches, I'm adding this four inch extender. So I hope that's helpful to anyone that couldn't wear a 14 inch. Now you can wear an 18 inch. 
So that's bag number 22, coral blue. And I'm definitely leaving it at 48 because it's really worth that. I think if you're a reseller, you could probably turn around and resell these and the necklace and do well. But if not, I know you'll enjoy this for years to come. And I don't think we're going to see jewelry like this much longer. There's your signature on the back. So I feel so privileged to have this in my hands and to pass it on to all of you. So there's your Coro necklace, extender, and earrings, bag 22 for 48 And I hope you love that. And bag number 23 is called Golden Sparkle. This set packs a lot of punch. It has some beautiful textures to the metals and just some beautiful metals in general. So let's start with the necklace like we usually do. And oh, someone told me what this maker might be with just the rhinestone and the, nothing on the other side. And I did write it down, but I forgot to bring it over here when I'm recording. Nonetheless, here's your extender, here's your snake chain, and these absolutely gorgeous beads. Look at that. It's encrusted with rhinestones, which looks like a druzy. It has all of this gold tone that's like an antique gold tone and different beads on it. Some more of these druzy type. And then look at these. Hammered silver tone in the middle. And it's a very swirly design on the outside. Almost like a 1928 brand. I mean, I would maybe even think it is, but... I don't have a hang tag that says that and it usually doesn't look like that when it's 1928 so unless someone changed the extender I don't know I just know that this necklace is heavy it's very good quality and it's beautiful and then you have these other beads down here as well and I like how it doesn't repeat it too much like it's a little bit different here with that bead and then they've got these druzy type beads coming down and then like this again and to here your snake chain and i probably have it going the wrong way like if i had it this way then those druzy type beads would probably show up better but here you go here's that very long necklace super nice quality just so different and i love it and yes we're on bag 23 and to go with it, I love this brass bracelet. I do think this is solid brass. Fabulous condition. Look at the textures on there. I really think this is a, a this is just a good one. A very good bracelet. Love it with that necklace. Then, oh my gosh, the clip-ons are just so perfect as well. I love them with the bracelet. So again, if you have a different set of jewelry, you want to wear these together or just about anything. At least you're starting out on the gate, out of the gate with a set that matches. So back to these, they are clip-ons. They're just a beautiful, almost like an Egyptian revival type style. That's how I feel about those. And then another pair of earrings that emphasizes more of the silver tone with the gold tone in the middle. They're pierced, they have nice movement to them, and that's your other set of earrings. So this is bag 23, called Golden Sparkle. There is your bracelet, six and three quarters. Beautiful brass. Here are your clip-ons in that stamped style and your other pierced earrings and your very long 40 inch necklace. I think I forgot to tell you, it's 40 inches. So again, you can wear that a lot of different ways or just nice and long and classy. But there's your beads again. Really nice quality, right? So I hope you love that or you know someone that does. Bag 23 is for $39 called Golden Sparkle. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna go to work on my thumbnail and you enjoy watching the video. I hope you're enjoying the 45 pounds of Shop Goodwill jewelry unboxing as well. And by the way, a lot of these pieces are from the Shop Goodwill jewelry unboxings and from a few other pieces I buy here and there. So I hope you love them. 
I hope it saves you a lot of time running around and matching jewelry. And most of all, at this time of year, maybe there'll be some great gifts that you can pick up for others. I gotta get something out of that bag. Just a little, yeah, like a piece of tape or something. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my thumbnail. And speaking of thumbs, thumbs up, because we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.